Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Van Andel Soccer Stadium here on the campus of Hope College for today's non-league contest between the student princes of Heidelberg University and your Hope College Flying Dutchman. Here this afternoon, starting lineups. First for Heidelberg, number one, Thomas Abraham. Number two, Hussein Farah. Number eight, Josh Dom. Number nine, Tyler Amstutz. Number 10, Ethan White. Number 14, Devin Smith. Number 19, Simon Joseph. Number 24, Nick Mangon. Number 26, Zane Paul. And number 29, Trent Green. Head coach for Heidelberg University is Nick Spell. Oh, and excuse me, we forgot number 40, Sigurd Illestad. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the starting lineup for your Hope College Flying Dutchman. A sophomore from Barrington, Illinois, number one, Daniel Hesselbein. A junior from Byron Center, number two, Colton Baker. A senior from Grand Rapids, number three, Jackson Strabel. A freshman from St. Joseph, number four, Seth Walters. A freshman from Mundelein, Illinois, number five, Cole Pauley. A junior from Grand Rapids, number six, Ethan Jansen. A junior from Livonia, number eight, Griffin Brown. A junior from Farmington Hills, number 11, Jake Lyon. A sophomore from Lincolnwood, Illinois, number 15, Mario Herkovic. A senior from Rochester Hills, number 16, Nick Tubert. And a senior from East Lansing, number 19, Kai Francisco. Head coach for the Flying Dutchman is David Blonick. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise. Gentlemen, if you would, please remove your caps. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Your officials for this afternoon's contest, Jordan Howard, Bill Howard, and Kenny Nunez. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Van Andel Stadium in Holland, Michigan, where it is a brisk 59 degrees. My name is Matt Roblin, and I'm joined by class of 2020 Isaac Brock, former midfielder for the Hope College men's team, as the 1-1-5 one, one Dutch take on the 0-5-1 Heidelberg. Before the game, Isaac, uh, what thoughts do you have coming into today's matchup? Well, Matt, uh, fall has indeed arrived. It is a very cold one today. I'm, I'm just excited to watch the Dutchman play. Uh, they're 1-1-5. One, one, they've got a lot of ties. And through seven games, I believe they've only scored five goals. Um, they're playing the 0-5-1 Heidelberg um, team. And I think today that 
more than one goal is very possible. Um, we got Seth, Seth Walters up top. This looks like Nick Kubert, and I'm expecting one of them to score today. Yeah, absolutely. Coach Dave Blonick got his first win as a Hope coach last week. It was a 1-0 victory. The only goal in that game was scored by Griffin Brown, who scored off of a Ben Bush corner kick. Dave Blonick, I actually had the chance, Isaac, to commentate a game with Dave Blonick last year. He's a, he's a fun guy and uh, excited to see him get that first win under his belt. Dave Blonick is a top-notch guy and a great coach. Excited for him to get his first win under his belt. Absolutely. Well, we got the game started, and here is Hope. Here's Jansen. Swings it out to Herkovic. And a ball off the head of a Heidelberg player. That is a throw in for the Dutch. Isaac, what are you looking uh, for Hope to capitalize on or do in this game to be successful? Oh, we're just looking to, for them to get uh, on top of them early. So it's looking like we're doing that now. We're, we're doing a bit, bit of a high pressure here and um, get some possession in the offensive half here. And that's very encouraging. Here's Walters. Walters is going to swing it back. Notably, last game, Griffin Brown had five shots. Expect him to be very involved in the offense again today. Yeah, Griffin Brown is a very attacking midfielder. Um, he actually plays defensively kind of with Matt Wimmer and him in the middle, and he likes to hop forward and take the longer shots. Um, I'm excited to see that today. Hope still with possession, and here is a pass that looks to be just a bit too far for Strabel. We're going to have a goal kick, and this is our first sighting of Thomas Abraham, goalkeeper for Heidelberg from White House, Ohio. Heidelberg's last game was a 0-4 loss to Westminster of Pennsylvania. Turnover there. Good possession here for the Dutch, Brown. Here's Jansen on, uh, yeah. I saw what he was trying to do there. He's trying to squeeze it through the, the center backs that are just a little too long. That was a good idea by Ethan. Hope controlling the possession so far. A little turnover there for Heidelberg. And we'll see a goal kick here. Notably, last game, Heidelberg and Abraham faced 25 shots. Isaac, they had a, a lot of offense from Westminster. Wow. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can get about that many too. <laughs> and a good look here. That's Walters and Brown was streaking. What do you think about that play, Isaac? Man, that was close. Ball right through the edge of the six yard box. Brown was sprinting in, but he just couldn't quite connect. All right, and here's Abraham. It looks like Ethan Brown or Ethan or Brown is playing on the left wing. He usually plays up more towards the center, but looks like Ethan Jansen and Kai Francisco are playing the dual sixes today. Here's Brown. And that's taken away by White for Heidelberg. Nice play there. Great slide. Heidelberg with the throw. Here's Joseph, and a turnover again for Heidelberg. Here's Brown. Yeah, if Heidelberg wants to stay in this game, those passes are not going to fly. Out wide for the Dutch. Trying to pass it in the middle, very congested area. Today I'm hoping Nick Kubert can uh, get a goal under his belt. He's a very creative player, and He's been dealing with an injury this season. He's, he twisted his ankle at the first game, and I know it's been kind of a lingering issue, and um, looks pretty good today. Yeah, good to see him out there. Looking good. Here is Heidelberg again on the throw. And Isaac, I wonder, with, you know, with a team like Heidelberg, right, when you're 0-5-1, you've lost five straight games. And you see the play there by Brown to disrupt the pass. Um, how do you change that momentum? That's such a tall order. That's such a hard yeah, question. Yeah, it's not. You're saying that they lost five straight. Right. I think the first step for them is just build on a little thing. So maybe that's a goal. Maybe that's a hard tackle. Just something. It's like, hey, we lost five in a row. But today's a new game. Um, we need to build upon the positives. So. 
That's a good life lessons here. <laughs> right in <this> yeah. <laughs> Wisdom from Isaac. Yes. Herkovich. Back to the line. Pauly. Hope taking their time, setting up. Herkovich is uh, all alone down there. Well, they looked for him, but it goes to Trent Green instead. And try to pass it back to Abraham, and he's going to boot it towards midfield. Great right back D. to the Dutch. Great D by Cole Pauly. He is always on the guy's back, and he's a great, great aerial threat um, defensively and offensively. Now, Pauly and the crew to be commended for the shutout last week. Yeah, their defense has been fantastic this season. I mean, they've been playing a lot of tough teams, and each game they're in in it um, because of Cole Pauly and Jake Lyon. Looks like we may have an injury towards midfield. Can't tell. Is that Nick? That's uh, I think Kubert. Or maybe. Is that Herkovich? No, that's that's Nick Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Yep. Yep. He had a little knock in the head. He's gonna have to get evaluated on the side. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, not what the Dutch or their fans want to see early in this game. We'll see Thomas DeVries, sophomore from Byron Center, checking in for the first time. Substitution. Entering the lineup for the flying Dutchman, number nine, Thomas DeVries. Here's Pauly. Walters. Oh, beautiful ball. That's a nice ball there. Looking for Herkovich. Got some space. Here's Brown. Trying to cut it back in. Some good D there from Heidelberg. Just Joseph. We'll see, we'll see if they can get it out here or not. They've had some struggles getting it across, and in fact, they do not. It's a pretty late advantage there. Um, I believe it was on Griffin Brown with the slide. Um, he called that even after the guy made the pass, which is a little odd. <laughs> yeah, nevertheless, we have Heidelberg ball. They'll be kicking off and sails over the jumping head of Zane Paul. Here is Daniel Hesselbein who uh, Hope fans have grown to see a lot of over the last two years. Oh, yeah, he's a beast. Yeah. Here's Lyon. Oh, through ball. Oh, and that one's going to sail out. So Hope is going to have a throw in here with some pretty good position. Here's Herkovic. Griffin Brown, back, back, back out to Herkovic, who's going to cross it across, and uh, it ends up swinging back to, Gra to Brown. Excuse me. Mario's got a great left foot. I love watching him cross the ball. He'll mix it up between playing on the ground and playing in there, depending on where the, the offense is. Uh, dangerous turnover there. We've seen a lot of that so far from Heidel Heidelberg. But we'll definitely need to clean that up if they want a chance in this game. Here's Jansen. Back out to Brown, and Brown is going to take a shot. Sails just over the net. That's what I think it might be our first shot uh, anywhere near the goalpost today. Hey, and uh, Nick back in the game. Great to see that so quickly. Oh, yeah. Got to watch out for injury trouble or else uh, Isaac Brock might have to suit up and get back out there. <laughs> I don't think they'd want that. They'd want someone that can run a lot longer than me. <laughs> Here's Jansen. Oh, nice little pass there. And oh, Brown, great play. Absolutely looking for Walters. Ooh, oh. and that was, that was a great play there. Walters almost got there, but nice defensive play from Heidelberg. That was a great one-two with the third man running through. And he was through, but just a last-ditch slide by the Heidelberg play. That was a nice play. We will have a corner here for the Dutch. It'll be Kai Francisco. He's got a great leg. Look for Ethan Jansen on these. He is a beast in the, uh, oh. 
Yeah, Griffin Brown slid across, looked to just volley it in there with, with, with his foot, but nothing doing. We'll have a, a kick for Heidelberg. Isaac, fun to see that uh, Connor Fowler is an assistant coach for the Dutch this year. Another uh, good player in his day, and uh, fun to see all these Dutch guys staying involved with the program. Yeah, it was awesome. We actually had an alum, um, alumni game today, and uh, we got to play with Connor. Um, Connor's, I played with him in 2018, 19, and 20, and um, he's a great player, and um, the guys love him on the team, so. Alumni game sounds like a great time. It was. We played some small-sided, got a bunch of old guys out yeah. there. Um, got to talk to the players. It was a fun time. That's awesome. It feels like the ball has not left the side of the field for quite some time. Dutch still kind of controlling. I hit there, and we're going to have a call on the field. Yeah, you just get the sense that a goal's coming. <laughs> right. Yeah, hope with all the pressure. And as you said earlier, Hope, Hope's only scored, I think, five goals this season. Yeah, it's only been five. Yep. They've played a really tough schedule. Um, but, I mean, one less than a goal a game. Um, Coach Blonick's not super happy with that. And right. Hopefully that can change today. Well, we'll see what we get from this look. Ball booted in there and the ball up in the air, but it'll go right into the hands of Abraham. Walters with the header. And Heidelberg will have possession. That pass luckily gets through two Dutch players. Back out to Brown with some space. Oh, good and ball. Cross. Beautiful ball for Herkovic. Another cross here, and we've got, oh, Brown was streaking there, Isaac. Man, he's going to want that one back. The ball came to him right at the corner of the six, and he was trying to head her to the near post. I'm going to guess if he, if he had that back, he'd aim towards the, the back post. The Dutch continuing to generate offense, getting closer and closer. Nice play from Herkovic. Ball's going to sail out, and we will have a Heidelberg throw in. I know, I just realized that just a half hour I like what I'm seeing so far from uh, from Herkovic. Isaac, he's been all over the place. He's a great player. Um, he likes streaking up the left line and uh, getting some crosses in. He's also played pretty good defensively so far. Throwing for Heidelberg. A lot of pressure here from Hope. Oh, and turnover there. And oh, look at this. Nick did a good job there. He shielded off the defender. He poked in his foot and tripped him. They're going to have a really close free kick. Um, this is, they're going to be looking for a shot here. Absolutely. Call was on a Eelstad, listed as a goalkeeper, but he's playing center back today. Interested to see what they drop on this free kick. No, I think Mario might hit this. He's got a really, really nice left foot. He's going to try curling it over the wall, I'm guessing, and right to the near post. We'll see whether or not Isaac Brock is correct. Heidelberg forming a wall of four. Oh, Nick wants it. Good look for the Dutch. And it'll go right into the arms of Abraham. That was Nick Kubert on the shot, but got it past the wall, but not a ton of uh, velocity on that one. No, you can see what he was trying to do. Um, it was a good attempt, just didn't get enough mustard on it. It's going to go out of play again for Heidelberg. They've really struggled, uh, coached Nick Spell and crew, to get much possession at all. Hope really dominating in that domain. Do you know what the score was of Heidelberg's last game? Yeah, their last game, they lost 0-4 to, to Westminster. Okay. Here's Straybull. He's breaking it. He's going to give it out to Kubert. Kai Francisco. Here's Lyon. Like 
Jansen. Out to Baker. Kubert. Turnover by the Dutch. Almost goes right back to Kubert. And he's there again. Heidelberg really struggling to get it out. Here's Jansen. Hope pressing. Gonna bring it out wide. And this will be a corner kick. It's a good play, yeah. Heidelberg's really struggling to get out. It just seems like they're really compact and they're struggling to stretch the field when they gain possession. And the Dutchmen are, I mean, right on them as soon as they get the ball. Absolutely. We're gonna see Nick Cooper on the corner. Last corner kick, we saw Griffin Brown cut across and uh, have a shot on goal. Here's Kubert in there. Ball up in the air. Good chance for the Dutch, but kicked out of play. Hope still with it. And here's a shot. Oh. Oof. Laser from Strabel. What nice a save. Shot. That was a great shot. Hope still pressing. Heidelberg needs to get this out of here. As you said, it feels like they've been playing very compact indeed. And another turnover. I don't know keeper made a really nice save on Jackson's yeah. shot there. I was going back post and he just parried it away. Pauly, nice defensive play. Here's Brown. Brown looking around. Jansen. Oh, nice defensive play there from White. Jansen right there. And a nice defensive play from Pauly. That's a nice recovery. Pauly, a consistent defensive player. And we'll see a cross here. It goes off of two Dutch players and back the other way. Here's Amstutz. Just over 29 minutes remaining until break. Man going. This feels like the most that we've seen Heidelberg control the ball all game, Isaac. Yeah, they got to be happy with this uh, stretch of play here. They really haven't gotten it close to the even the Hopes box, but um, just having the ball gains confidence. Yeah. And we'll see a free kick here for Heidelberg. Jackson Strabel's coming out and Looks like he's getting seen by the trainer. Yeah, it looks like walking off pretty gingerly, Isaac. It might have been on the clearance. So by the box, usually Jackson plays out simple to the feed, and there he just booted it away. I think he might have picked it up right before that. Coming in the game is Ben Bush, who had a great corner last week, and the ball all <laughs> soars in, and that was dangerous. That was a really, really good chance for Heidelberg. I mean, the, the Hope let the ball drop right inside the 18 and a streaking player almost got ahead to it. Yeah, absolutely. And for Heidelberg, those opportunities are golden. Ball goes out of play. As we just mentioned, Ben Bush checking the game. Ben Bush had a beautiful corner kick last week that resulted in a Griffin Brown goal, the only goal scored in last week's victory for the Dutch. I was sad to miss that game, but hard fought 1 0 game against Carthage College. Absolutely. Heidelberg with the ball. We're going to get a call on that. Kind of hard to see from this vantage point, but we'll have Heidelberg with the free kick. Trent Green wide open. On the side, <laughs> calling for the ball. We'll uh, see what he they do here. It. Yeah. They're going to shoot it in. Passing in, excuse me. Nothing doing there, and we'll see what Hope can do on the counter. Some good hold-up play by Seth Walters. Here's Jansen. Oh, nice. Good ball. Yeah. Right to the feet on the wide side, and a Cross in, a good look. Oh, my. 
I can't believe we didn't get a touch on that. <laughs> Seth Walters was right there. <laughs> he was. I don't know. Did the goalie touch that? I guess so, because it looks like it's a Hope corner. Yeah, that was a very confusing sequence. It went right across yeah, the six, yeah. and it looked like Seth was going to poke it in with his head, and yeah. it went out for a corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow, however it happened, it's a Hope corner. <laughs> I think that's Kai Francisco. He's going to boot it in. Nobody there. there. That was a little there. disappointing. Hope still has it. Nice play from Colton Baker to keep it in. Oh, we got a good look here. Seth Walters. Hope with some good opportunities, Isaac. Not been able to capitalize yet. Nice pass. A little bit of space here. We're going to see a shot. Oh! See a goal. What a shot. Nicely placed. I believe that was Kai Francisco. Yeah, I think that was Kai. A beautiful ball. A lefty shot, and he's actually a righty, so that was quite impressive. Absolutely. Just beautiful trajectory, and it slips it into the corner. It is 1-0 for the Dutch. Well, let's go. We might see more than one goal. This is great. <laughs> and the assist will be granted to Seth Walters. Goal granted to Kai Francisco. And it's six goals on the year now for the Dutch, Isaac. That's fantastic. It's also fantastic to see, see that Seth Walters has got on the assist sheet. Um, he's only scored goals this season. He's probably proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we were saying it the last couple minutes, Isaac, eventually, you know, with that sort of pressure, one has to go in. A heck of a shot. That, that's yeah. fantastic. Kai Francisco, senior from East Lansing. First goal of the game. Nice play there from Ben Bush, much to the uh, the favor of the Hope team. Gaining some confidence, you love it. Absolutely. The sophomore from Spring Lake having a good start these last two games. Back to Kai, who just scored the nice goal. I like how Colton Baker plays. He's always looking forward. He ended up playing that to Cole Pauly, but um, he got it to Cole quickly, and Cole got it out to the left wing. Jansen with it, and good D there from Josh Dom, senior from Milton, Ohio. Throw in for the Dutch. Just under 25 minutes remaining till break. Jansen back out to the line. Pauly. Hope operating a lot from uh, the middle. Hey, Ethan Jansen actually started at forward the first couple games of the season. He's moved back to midfield, and I love him in the midfield position. He likes to play with a lot of tempo, and it gives uh, mm -hmm. Dutchman a big boost, I think. Yeah, looking good today. Goal kick. Fun to see. Uh, we spoke a little bit about alumni. Fun to see some alumni in the stands today. Fantastic. I mean, we got a great a great showing. Um, I think we were playing 10 v 10. It was a shortened field because we're not very fast and very fit, but there's a lot of guys there. I mean, 20 plus, I'd assume. Here's goal kick. Let's sail out. Fun to see uh, two of my former residents <laughs> in, uh, in the stands today. That's um, Brett Dyer. It was uh, a great kid back in the day. Brett's fantastic. I mean, you probably had a handful, though. Those guys oh, were kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Him and Caleb Schoon, two fun uh, kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good players in their day. Yep. You the you were the RD, or were you the I was the RA. 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 Uh, okay. They would not let me be an RD. That would be a very poor decision. <laughs> <laughs> Heidelberg with the throw in. One thing for sure, Isaac, a lot of orange on the field today. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, very Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Fall is here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Fall is here. <laughs> no, 
You said that uh, Heidelberg has a center back playing today that was actually yes. listed as a goalkeeper. Yeah, that's uh, Sigurd Ilstad. He hails from Sam Norway. And Hope with a good luck here. A man of many trades. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hope with some pressure. We're going to see a shot. And oh, oh go in. Wow, <laughs> Seth Walters. And wow. I believe Ooh. that's called a five hole. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, this is not hockey. This is soccer. But we just saw a goal go five hole here at Van Andel. That's going to be Seth Walters off of Griffin Brown. Wow. If you're Thomas Abraham, that one hurts. Yeah, Seth Walters got to be happy that sneaked in, added to his tally for the season. Isaac Seth with an assist and a goal today. What a day. See how uh, Heidelberg responds. It's a tough one from the keeper. and. Hopefully he can bounce back from that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Abraham has had his hands full just looking at last game uh, when they played against Westminster. Westminster had 25 shots in that game, Isaac. So he's been seeing a lot of work. He's a sophomore from South Christian. Thomas is a very creative player. Um, sometimes he holds on to the ball. Whoa! Oh. How about that? What a touch! <laughs> what a goal! Great header by Thomas. This is a goal fest today. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, the lid off the cookie jar has been ripped off, and they are raining for the Dutch. Yeah. Nine from six. Wow. I was just going to tell you that Thomas holds on to the ball a little too long, and there he one touches <laughs> into the back of the net. Right I'll when, stop speaking. Yeah, right when you're about to slander him, he puts it in. <laughs> DeVries with the goal. The assist will go to Ethan Jansen. And you said it. Goals everywhere for the Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Got to feel good. Flying in from the head, the foot, pretty much every part of the body. Here. Absolutely. And that was a nice header from DeVries. I mean, I mean, he did a great job generating any power off of that cross. Right. I mean, the cross was decent, but it was kind of a far ways out to be heading that in. And yeah. That, that was place. Pretty, pretty well into the corner there. Hey, if you're Ethan Jansen, that goes down as an assist. That's awesome. That's great <laughs> that is scoreboard. awesome. <laughs> May not be necessarily expecting it off the yeah. foot, but when it goes in. You love it. Magic. And <laughs> we've said this before. Hope only scored five goals this season. Three so far today. Got to be a good confidence booster for the O. Heidelberg having a, a bit of a rough stretch in this first half. They had one really good luck. Um, <coughs> One unlucky goal, but Hope with a, a nice header. Uh, we saw a very nice uh, play from Kai Francisco. That was a goal earlier. And that's going to go right into the arms of Abraham. Yeah, you know, I'm a, it's 3-0. Um, depending on how the game goes and maybe into halftime, it'll be exciting to see some bench players come in for Hope. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if they'll – a lot of the games have been pretty close, so I don't know how many opportunities a lot of the freshmen or – um, underclassmen have gotten, and today might be their day. Absolutely. Dutch with possession. Here's Kai. Middle of the field. Jansen. Hey. I'm going to free kick. Uh, that's going to be called on Tyler Amstutz from Wapakonita, Ohio. Hope I pronounced that right. Another good look for the Dutch. <laughs> hey, I, I, don't, I don't know the difference, so it's correct in my book. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Heidelberg with the ball, and it's going to be another turnover. We see Kai Jurgel entering into the game. Senior from Ann Arbor comes in for Mario Herkovic. Kai's a great player. Fun fact, he was actually my bus buddy when we went to away games. Nice. He, he sit next to me, and I apologize, Kai, for all the times I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Ooh, a bit of a hard shoulder there. We're playing American football. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a five hole and a shoulder check so far. It feels yeah. like a hockey game. <laughs> it does indeed. 
Here's Cole Pauly, and he's gonna, just going to tap it off to Kai Francisco. Jurgle and Francisco, both Kais in the game. Fun to see for the Dutch. Maybe we'll get the Kai connection. Yeah, I would love to see that. <laughs> All right, Hope still controlling. Here's Lion. Uh, back out to Hasselbein. Uh, thoughts on Hope's performance so far? I think it's been fantastic, and I love that they're getting shots from pretty much every angle. Um, sometimes in the games previous, they were a little hesitant to pull the trigger or guess that would be in the right spot, and they, they've been in good, good spots today. Yeah, almost another good spot there, but uh, play broken up by Heidelberg. Yeah, I think I think we're seeing a lot more uh, midfield movement into the attacking half. So before they take it, um, pass and stay, and today they're doing a lot of pass and moving. So it's, it's been good to see. Here's DeVries off that last goal. Hope still putting on the pressure. DeVries tries to keep it in. And yeah, that looked like it went out. Oh my, that was quite close. Yep. And if he kept that in, that was hey. gonna be a good chance for goal there. Absolutely. So far, uh, Dutch, of course, winning 3-0. They have 10 shots to two for Heidelberg. Uh, and we'll see a corner kick. It's a high arcer. Lion tried to get that in, still in. Oh, and two good looks there. Couldn't tell who was there at the back post. Mm -hmm. It was a double. Entering for Heidelberg now is Hunter Groan and Lucas Stein. Ben Bush pulled out the gloves today. I think you might be the only person on the field with the gloves on. I don't know if it's that cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. Here's Kai Francisco. Ben Bush really going with the Halloween theme with the black gloves. <laughs> he is. Uh, Dutch still with possession. Here's Polly. Polly, such a solid player. Here's Jansen. Here's Olsen. Uh, and we're going to see, looks like a shot there for Francisco. Didn't get too much on it. Stayed on the ground and goes a little wide. Yeah, Kai was looking for a brace there. He shot one with his left foot in, and he tried one from uh, distance with his right foot just there. Yeah. All right, here's Abraham. Abraham, uh, one of two goalies on the roster. The other one, as we mentioned, is uh, Sigurd Ilstad, uh, listed as goalkeeper, but playing center back number 40 from Sem, Norway. We're going to get a call there. We'll have a free kick for the Dutch. Lyon out to Francisco. Back to Kai. Out wide, and we'll see Kai Jurgle throw it in. Hope still with possession. Francisco out into the middle, and there's a good look for Olsen. That was a great, great cross. That was uh, what we like to call a dime. A dime indeed. Here is Heidelberg. Looking at uh, Heidelberg's schedule so far this year, they've started off with a tie to Defiance. Since then, they've lost. They lost to Adrian 01, Trine 03, Bluffton 02, Wooster 05, and then Westminster 04. Um, recently, last couple days have, have been a bit of a slide for them, trying to get back on pace. They started off with some close games to Defiance and Adrian. So far, Hope's had the best of them. Yeah, Hope's been playing really good today. And um, Heidelberg, while they want to win the game, um, I think they're really just probably looking for a goal today. Um, yep. They haven't scored many goals this season, and a goal could boost their confidence. Dutch with possession. Pauly up to, I think it was Francisco. Heidelberg, see if they can do something on the counter here. No work 
Nothing working there. Excuse my grammar. Uh, Francisco out to Jansen. <laughs> my apologies. Here's DeVries. Jansen out to Lyon. Oh. DeVries looks like tripped over there. Scrum. I can't tell what. Oh, it'll be a hope free kick. Okay. So today, uh, Matt Wimmer is actually not on the roster. Somebody told me that he picked up a knock last game, and mm. while that would be a, usually a big, big blow for Hope College, they're playing quite well without him today. Yeah, I hope to see Matt out for the next game. I mean, he's a fantastic midfield player. Um, he, he usually plays where Kai Francisco is playing the, the six. He controls the game very well for Hope College. Kai doing a good job filling that spot today. All right, here's the Dutch. That's going to go back to Abraham. Here's Lyon. Hope with the ball. Lyon. There's Olsen. Francisco. Might see a cross here. That's a good look. Oh, what a great cross and opportunity. Yeah, beautiful cross. And Paulo Alcala had a great look. Just couldn't get on there. Coming into the game, we have number 22, Harrison Berg. Coming out is Ethan White. White with some strong defensive plays today. I think um, he's been one of the best players I've seen today from Heidelberg. Ethan White hails from Buckingham, England, where he played at Sir Thomas uh, Fremen, Fremental. I hope I pronounced that right. International. Me if I did it's great not. to see. But yeah, awesome to see. Oh, Hope was off there, uh, following Hope College. Um, Paulo Alcala picked up the ball, but called back. We will see Heidelberg with the free kick. Here's Trent Green, not to be confused with the former Chiefs quarterback. <laughs> Out there for Bush, and uh, just a little bit too far. Oh, here's Heidelberg. Uh, Francisco's all over that one. Special thanks to uh, Freddy Velasquez and uh, our whole video services team for putting on this broadcast you're uh, enjoying today. We got a fantastic crew up here. Great people. Absolutely. Here's Jansen. Ben Bush, looking for somebody. Nothing to go there. Yeah, not a lot going on in the box. Feels like play has slowed down just a little bit the last couple of minutes. Here's Olsen. Olsen with a rip, and that's going to go to Abraham. Trying to curl it back post there. He hit it a little inside, but decent attempt. Heidelberg looking to get it out of there. Jansen, Olsen, DeVries. That one's going to go just a little bit too far and back to Heidelberg. Coming in for Hope, we are going to see Griffin Duran. For the line, number 22, Griffin Doran. Uh, Doran, excuse me. Thanks to the 66 of you currently watching. 
And uh, whether you're a Hope fan or if you are following for Heidelberg, thank you for spending the afternoon with us. Hope with the ball. And that's going to go out. I think that's going to be a goal kick. Looks like it went off of Hope player. Hopefully we can see one more goal before halftime. It's game's died down a bit. Hopefully the tempo can back, uh, pick back up with the subs that just came in. Yep, we've seen some substitutions late in this half. Uh, you're absolutely right. You, you know, the, field does, the, the, the play does feel like it's slowed down. Heidelberg trying to get it out to the other side of the field. Here's Abraham. Here is Trent Green. Pressure from DeVries. Ricochets off two players. Here's Jansen. Nice work to keep possession. He's going to let one oh. rip. And he was feeling himself on that play. He was. He had some sticky feet there and decided to have a go. <laughs> Good luck. Just goes over the goal post. And we'll see Abraham again, who's uh, having his fair share of kicking practice. <laughs> he is. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what number goal kick this is, but it's been quite a few. Yes, his legs get in a workout today, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, uh. might have to ice it. To yeah. the Jansen with some good work on that 50-50 uh, ball. Luke Sawyer in the game for Heidelberg. We just saw him from North Royalton, Ohio. Doran. Here's Lyon. Jake Lyon really hasn't had much action tonight. Um, the ball's only been to his side only a couple times, and each time he's played it quickly, no problems. Um, hopefully he's not getting too bored. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to have another sub coming in for the Dutch, Trevor Durfee. <laughs> Trevor's one of my favorite players to watch. Um, he'll try something. Uh, he'll try a turn. He'll try running through a guy. Um, I mean, it's gonna be it's exciting to watch. And I, I think he's actually gonna get a goal today. That's my prediction. All right. Well, let's, let's see it. Here is Mr. Trevor Durfee. With a pass out to the middle, Baker. Hope still with possession. Here is Olsen. Got options, and he's going to push it out wide. We're going to see a cross here. Oh, good play from Ole. Yep. Oh, and a good look here. We're going to see a, goal, a goal for Mr. Griffin Brown. Unassisted. And that's two games in a row for Griffin. Well, I, I think that might have been Thomas DeVries. Was that DeVries? I believe it was. Well, if it was, my sincere apologies <laughs> to, Mr. <laughs> to Mr. Thomas DeVries and family. <laughs> yes, it was Thomas DeVries. <laughs> the DeVries family, if you're watching, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they're thrilled that yeah. his son scored a beautiful goal. It was. It was wonderful. And, and that's two today for Thomas. Great day to be a DeVries family member. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Isaac, there's a chance we see Hope eclipse their season total for goals by the end of this game. That'd be quite something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what's the number we're looking for? Six or five? They've scored five this year, so they okay. scored six. Five would tie. Six would be more than they've scored in the previous uh, seven games. Okay. So far, it has been all orange and white, not orange and black. 
Ooh, wow, that was some good pressure there. Yeah, Heidelberger was some good pressure and um, got a bit lucky that went right under his foot because he was going to be in towards goal. Yeah, it was Lucas Stein, freshman. Nice attacking defense. And we'll see. It looks like that's going to be a good ball. Hope with it. We see a cross here, a good look to oh! your man, Trevor Durfee. Almost Trevor! <laughs> oh, he won. I mean, the cross was oh, a great yeah. cross. Came in a little hot. And, I mean, that went right, right. past the post. <laughs> <laughs> what a good luck for Trevor. He had time to set it up and everything. <laughs> yeah, man. And hey, you you spoke it into existence. I hope you didn't jinx him. Though. I might have to give him a hard time I after hope you didn't the game. Jinx him with yeah, that. I hope I didn't <laughs> jinx him either. <laughs> I mean, that that was a good play. Who started that off was actually Kai Francisco played yeah. a through ball over to the right wing to Kai Jurgle. He made a nice move and fired it into Trevor. And I mean, it was a great play. Trevor Durfee, senior from Belmont, Michigan, played at Rockford. And almost had a goal. The Rockford Rams. I went to Grand Haven, and we don't like the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like Trevor Durfee. All right. There's one good Ram, at least, according to Isaac Brock. <laughs> Here's Hope. Olsen. Olsen seen some action today. Comes from Caledonia. Caledonia. Man, where did uh, you grow up? Me? Oh, all over the place. I don't know if we have enough time for that question. <laughs> oh. So not around here. Yeah, I came to Hope. That was my first experience with West Michigan. I was born in North Carolina, Boone. I uh, grew up between Indianapolis, Indiana, and Toronto, Canada. Oh, wow. So I moved around a bit. I got a sister born in Pasadena, California. So. Awesome. Yeah. Heidelberg in their own side of the field. And another turnover. Oh, and that goes ricocheting off of DeVries, not Griffin Brown. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Thomas is looking for the hat trick today. Yeah, absolutely. I love to see that. Love to see it. But yeah, I've been in West Michigan since I came to Hope. Now I live uh, in the area. I work in Myron Center. Awesome. Everybody watching at home who does not care, sorry for my life spiel. <laughs> oh. Matt, we want to know about your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad somebody does. We hope difference. All right. Uh, all right, here's the orange and black. One more Hope alum in the crowds so I didn't shout out earlier. Dom Byrne uh, just got accepted to law school at Marquette. Congratulations to Congrats Mr. Dom Congrats to Dom. Quite a journey he's embarking on. Yeah. Here's Heidelberg with the throw-in. That ball is soaring in the air. A little 50-50 action, and I think we're just going to see it go out of play. Well, Isaac, fall has officially started. It's September 24th. It's below 60 degrees. I had to use my defroster yesterday. Um, <laughs> That's when you know yeah. it's getting colder. As somebody who played at Hope, uh, do you have any thoughts on, on, on playing with the cold weather versus the, the warm weather at the start of the season? Does it actually make you know, any significant difference? You know, for me, it didn't make a whole lot of difference other than affecting my mood. I, I like the warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I like the warmer weather, but no, nah, the, cold, the cold weather, it's fun. I mean, um, especially when the leaves start to change behind uh, Van Andel Stadium. It's, it's beautiful, and um, I don't know. You, you just can't get a better picture. Yeah, absolutely. Under a minute remaining, we got about 50 seconds left until break, and then you can all go and do whatever you need to do and join us for the second half. Here is Lyon. Excuse me. Uh, there's got to be a free kick. Let's see if we can squeeze one in the last 30 seconds. All right. In the box. Out wide. We'll see what Kai Francisco has. He's going to push it out wide. DeVries running for it. I don't know if he was going to make there. It's going to be just out, and I think that'll be it for half. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
Well, first half recap. Your score is 4 nothing for the Flying Dutch. Once again, I am Matt Roblin, joined by former midf midfielder, class of 20, Isaac Brock. Uh, we've enjoyed bringing you the first half presentation of Hope versus Heidelberg on um, this nice, brisk fall afternoon. Uh, any closing thoughts before we hit the break? It's been a pleasure announcing with you. Um, as for the game, I'm very, very thrilled to see Hope College get on the scoreboard and four goals. At that. I mean, it, it's been Absolutely. a great half for them. They've put a lot of pressure on Heidelberg. They've got a lot of shots, and it's been quite a bit of creativity. So it's uh, been very encouraging, and I'm, I'm sure Coach uh, Blonick will be very, very pleased. Absolutely. We've seen two goals for DeVries, one for Walters, one for Francisco. Uh, we will be joining you again shortly after the break. Thank you for tuning in. It's no secret. The best way to learn about Hope College is to spend time on our campus. The Hope Admissions team invites you to a personalized visit experience you won't forget. Located in downtown Holland, Michigan, our historic campus is close to shopping and dining and just 10 minutes from Lake Michigan. We invite you to check out our campus tour options or sign up for an online tour with the Hope Admissions office. There's never been a better time to see Hope College. Visit us at hope.edu slash admissions. There are over 5,000 colleges and universities in the United States alone, and nearly every single one of them is named after a location or a historical figure. But along the shores of Lake Michigan, there is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is hope. It is so easy to get lost in what this world lacks, to become discouraged by its needs, gaps, and flaws. Can we see beyond the uncertainty and brokenness? At Hope College, we do. Not by ignoring the world as it is, but by learning and living with the belief that this is not the world as it should be, by driving to understand, to unlock clarity, to amplify truth, by leading with inspired compassion, by embodying a vision that illuminates greater opportunity for all, by serving with anchored conviction, using our collective gifts to offer this world what it needs most, hope. Not simply hope as a desire, but hope as a way of being. Because hope has changed the way we see the world Hope drives us to change the way the world is. Because hope shapes our calling. Because hope inspires our dreams. Because hope empowers our talents. Because hope frees us to try. Because hope transforms what we believe, transforms how we act, transforms who we are. At Hope College, we know this life-altering grace is a gift we have all been given, and it is the greatest gift we can offer the world. Hope transforms. I was made for this. 
Hello, I'm Trigby Johnson, and I serve as the Dean of the Chapel at Hope College. I'd like to thank you for your continued relationship with Hope. Thank you for being our people. People are what make this campus special, a people rooted in our shared faith in Jesus Christ. And in that spirit, I'd like to personally invite you to come join us for chapel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10.30 a.m. Come and join the next generation of Hope College students as we sing the old songs of the faith and some new ones. Come and enter in and experience the energy and vitality of what it is to be a Christian here at Hope College as God shapes us to be a people of hope now and for future generations. There is a school whose namesake is not a founder, not a historical figure, not a state, city, or physical landmark. It is named after an ideal, a virtue, a way of life. Its name is hope. With 40 acres of natural beauty close to downtown Holland, the farmstead has a little bit of everything for active seniors. Except you may never want to leave your home. With a modern no-step floor plan to serve your needs for years to come, you'll forget how much there is to do around here. So here goes. <laughs> Want to go over that again? Visit thefarmstead.org.
say, do you love me? I tell her, only partly. I only love my dad and my mom. I'm sorry. If he does, I even try to turn it on. Hey, you want to bring a present to the party? Hey, you know me. I'm the O2 and the O3. Without boy, Ollie, then we know me. Imagine if I never met a broke God damn. God damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Van Andel Stadium here in Holland, Michigan. I'm Matt Roblin, joined by Isaac Brock, class of 20, former midfielder. And Hope is going to start out with some possession. Looking back at that first half, it was 4-0 for the Dutch, four goals. They had 19 total shots compared to two for Heidelberg. Possession was 75% for the Dutch, 25 for Heidelberg. The exciting first half for the Dutchman. Four goals by three different people. Um, great half. Yeah, absolutely. We saw two from Thomas DeVries, one from Kai Francisco, and one from South Walters. That ball goes flying into the fan section where lots of Dutch faithful have turned up over the course of this game. Great to see people out enjoying the fall weather, enjoying this good game of soccer between Hope and Heidelberg. Yeah, great to see. You know what I've wanted to see this season? I, I saw the first game. In the back, they actually have a drum. And I have not seen it today. I was hoping that they'd pull that out. The drum? <laughs> the drum. Oh, that's awesome. I, I didn't even know that existed at home. That's pretty sweet, though. <laughs> So if Isaac disappears from the call for a few minutes, you'll know where he is. Oh. <laughs> and then you hear some loud thumping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look there for the Dutch. That'll go down as a shot off of the header. And a nice play there from, uh, I believe that Thomas Abraham is still in goal. Herkovich with some attacking defense there. Abraham, you know, really had his work cut out for him. He's faced so many shots. Looking at the stats for the last couple of games, he's he's had a lot to face. Yeah, and you can only only expect the keeper to make so many saves. Um, it's tough when you're when you're facing 19 shots in the first half. Yeah, he that made is a lot. Yeah, he he that made several lot. really really nice saves. Um, a couple long uh, long range shots and a couple close ones. Um, he, he's done. A good job. Hope with the throw in here is Ben Bush rocking his gloves. They're going to go back out to him. <laughs> Here's Jansen. And oh, a good look for the Dutch. Uh, I believe it's going to be a corner. So Ben Bush got the start for the second half. Um, I'm not seeing Jackson Strabel. He came off limping. Hopefully he's okay, and hopefully they're just resting him for the next game and it's not a serious injury. Corner kick here, high arcing. Out to the back post, here's Bush. Francisco, back to Bush. Bush trying to cross it and that's gonna uh. just not make it there. Quick shout out to Austin Cortez who is watching the broadcast, uh, just sent me a text. And he knows the two of us, he's a, he's a great guy. My favorite yes. memory of Austin, former uh, keeper, for the Dutch team. We commentated a swimming game together. Oh, a big turnover here. Good look for the Dutch. We're going to see a shot oh. and an easy goal. Wow, unassisted off the turnover. Nick Cooper does not get easier than that. Great goal by Nick. He picks it up in the offensive half from an errant pass by the Heidelberg team and Cooley finished it in the bottom left corner. Great finish. Absolutely. And you know, just looking back, you know, he had a lot of time. Didn't overthink it. Mm -mm. A nice, simple shot right into the corner where the keeper cannot get it, and that's a simple, easy goal for Nick Kubert. Yeah, great finish by Nick. Yeah. 
Well, as we alluded to in the first half, Hope has now matched the season total for goals in the last seven games in just this one game, Isaac. Fantastic. I think they might get six today, and that would eclipse their season total. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we may see more scoring to come. Heidelberg with an interesting start off the kickoff. They got three guys lined up close to us. One guy in the center. I'd imagine they're gonna kick it long to the left mm. here. Yeah, it looks like Nick Spell and crew trying out some different offensive options, trying to get something generating here. Yep, and we're gonna see exactly that. A little, it seems like a, a very designed play there, did not work. Um, line fighting with Simon Joseph. Good play by the Heidelberg player and he got a little tangled in his feet, but good defensive play there. Fun information for you, freshly delivered from Mr. Alan Babbitt. This is the most goals for Hope since a 5-0 win at Olivet on October 16th, 2021. Fantastic to see tons of goals today. And we're probably going to eclipse that. So Absolutely. We'll, see. well, if we get to 6-0, we'll need a new stat update for that. <laughs> that is true indeed. And it looks like a little bit of sun is creeping in here today. Uh, and we got a lot of space. Herkovic, no call for offside, and they had a lot of options oh, there. Oh, man. Isaac. Yeah, he's going to want that one there. back. Mario tried doubling it back to the incoming run at, around the penalty area, and it just got cleared by the Heidelberg defender. Good defense. He anticipated that pass nicely. Here's Bush. I like the way Ben Bush is playing today. He's playing with a lot of confidence and he's been uh, flying up and down that left wing. Absolutely. Bush, a sophomore, getting some great quality time so far this season. Yeah, he actually transferred from uh, Michigan State, so he wasn't on the team last year. Traded in the green for the orange, and we are going to have a call, I believe, on Ilstad. Good to see the ref pull out the yellow card there. It was a bit of a reckless tackle, and um, you got to protect our players and theirs, of course. So when there's a, an aggressive foul like that, um, it's good to see a yellow card come out. Yeah, we appreciate the referees and all they do. Griffin Brown's going to send that one up. Another good look for the Dutch. Tons of bodies, very congested. Uh, here's Bush. The tricky heel pass. Yeah. He's confident it is a good word to describe Bush this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> and another confident play right there, mate. I, I I don't think I caught who that was. Uh, Nick Kubert. That was Kubert. Yep. yep. Kubert with a shot attempt there, which was ricocheted off of a Heidelberg player. Here is the orange and black. Good. Joseph. Oh, man, Joseph with a good move. Um, got a little tangled uh, under his feet again. Hope had 75% possession in the first half, I believe the second half. Uh, unless so things drastically change, we should expect to see a similar metric. Here's Brown. 
I do wonder when uh, Coach Blanick will make some subs here. Um, we didn't see a whole lot of new players in the first half. Um, I think in the second half we're going to see some new guys, though. Yeah, I would agree. Here's Kai Francisco. Joseph's been in, I think, all game for Heidelberg. He's been one of the players who's uh, really put in some great effort today for their club. He has been. He's made some good runs down the line and has played some good defense as well. And Herkovich all over that one. But he's going to get a foul called on him. That's uh, Tyler Amstutz. Now kicking. Good cross by number nine. Another turnover. Hope. Some good numbers here. But nothing doing there. And Nick tried to throw ball to Seth Walters and just played a little too softly there. I mean, if you played a... A better ball, Seth was in. Pauly. Brown. Back to Heidelberg. Jansen all over. And ball is kept in by Farah. Farah going to cross it and one of the best looks so far today for Heidelberg. But good defense from Hope. Good play down the wing from Farah. I mean, that was a good cross in and a very dangerous chance for Heidelberg. Absolutely. We saw Ethan White of Buckingham, England uh, attempt a shot there as well. And that one from Kai, just a little bit off on the way to Bush. So for those of you who need to be recapped on Hope's schedule, they started off with a 1-1 tie for their first three games. After that, they had a 0-0 tie, lost 0-3 to Chicago, tied against Rolls Holman, 1-1, and then won the first time for the season against Carthage, 1-0. This 5-0 scoreboard, and we'll see what it, what it ends off at, um, Isaac, but much different than all the other experiences this team has had so far this season. Yeah. Whoa. A tough foul. Yeah, it has been much different. Um, the five ties, I mean, the first six games or seven games of Hope's schedule has been very, very tough. Um, a lot of the teams have been either ranked or very close to being ranked. Um, the one loss to University of Chicago. I believe University of Chicago is the number one team in the nation. Mm. Um, I mean, they. I, I watched some of that game. Yeah. They played with an extreme amount of tempo, and they just had a lot of very athletic players on their team. And, I mean, they were very, very good. Absolutely. In that game, Hope had eight shots to 14 for Chicago. And a good look there. Wow, right in front of the net. And that's wow. a beautiful pass and score. <laughs> That was a fantastic yeah, pass. That was awesome. I don't know. It was a little heel pass to the top of the corner of the six, and Ethan Jansen fired that in. Wow. Who, did you see who did that pass? It looks like we had Kubert. I think that was Seth Walters. Yep, Seth Walters with the pass there. A beautiful little, little play. And that's just dicing on the cake. That really was. I mean, he had eyes in the back of his head there. I mean, that was a fantastic pass. Score is now 6-0 for the Dutch. We recently told you that the 5-0 score was the most goals since the game they played against Olivet in 2021. Now 6-0. The last time that Hope had six goals was October 17, 2019, a 6-1 win here at Van Andel against Alma. That would have been in the Isaac Brock era. That was. I have a terrible memory, and I don't remember that game. 
<laughs> I could probably tell you I didn't score. I, I didn't score many goals. I'll say Isaac, you've done well in the booth today, but that was that was pretty that was poor performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hope College uh, faithful. <laughs> Isaac Brock, terrible memory. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 2018, and Isaac did score the last goal. Wow. I I'll, let you, that. I'll let you say that, Isaac. We've been informed I did score the last goal of that game. <laughs> and it was, it, it, it was in 2018, October 17th, 2018, 6-1. to one, And Isaac Brock does not remember, but he did score the game winner. <laughs> That's good to know. Substitutions. And here's some subs. Nick uh, Kubert and uh, Seth Walters had some great connections there. Absolutely. I mean, even that last play that uh, Nick skied over the net, yep. um, th they made a nice combo and got a good opportunity there. Absolutely. Great game of work for those individuals. Yeah, I'm hoping that... Uh, their connection there can can be to the next games and continue their scoring streak. Yeah, absolutely. What? Hope in the box again. Another look. And nobody there. But a wide, would have been a wide open shot. Good move by Seth Walters. He uh, did a little scissor. Or maybe that was Ole Olsen. Either way, it was a great move down the line. Played it right across the six. Nobody there to tap it in. Um, great play by Hope. Absolutely. And yeah, for those guys who just came out, that was a beautiful play. Kubert started it off. And then Seth Walters with a beautiful pass. Ethan Jansen capitalized and scored. That made it 6-0. We've got just over 30 minutes remaining in the second half. So, Isaac, here's a question about memory. Do you remember how many goals you scored in your career? I don't. I do not. I'm going to guess. Let me guess. Let's guess. Um, seven. You're going to guess you scored seven goals in your career. I'm going to guess I scored seven goals in my career. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll do some research, and we'll get back with the, the, the correct number. All right. It's around Shortly. there. It's in the single digits. I'm quite fairly positive of that. <laughs> oh. Tough tackle by Heidelberg there. That was good to see yeah. some aggression. Ilstad on the play. The man from Norway. Here's Lyons, still in the game. He's been in uh, for the entirety of this match. And the sun is uh, continuing to shine. Great for everybody in the stands today. With that sixth goal, Hope has surpassed what they did the last seven games. I know we've mentioned that multiple times today. And we have some very, very important information from uh, Mr. Alan Babbitt. Looking back at the career of Isaac Brock, we have a stat total of eight goals and 15 assists. You're one off. I, I short, shorted myself one goal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was around there. Not too many to count, <laughs> but. <laughs> Throw in here. Ooh. Hey, Joseph, uh, with a little bit of contact there. Can't blame him for going in on that. Yep. I mean, that was right by the net. Um, fair play. And, you know, you, you only see so many. For Heidelberg, they've seen, what, maybe two, three looks in the box. That, you know. I mean, yeah. yeah. You really got to go for it if it's that close. So we've made a goalie change. Um, it looks like it's Keegan DeKuyper in. Good call, Isaac. I did not notice that. Neither did I. I, I, I he might have started the half. Um, or, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, our keepers have not got a ton of work today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to say the least. 
poor on our part for not looking back there, but uh, yeah. congrats to Keegan for going in. Well, we've been talking about uh, Hope matching their season total for goals. Hope should be careful. You know, Isaac Brock, you scored eight goals in your career. Um, <laughs> if Hope scores two or more, they might match what you did in your entire uh, career, Isaac. You know, I, I do I do hope they did, they match my goal total and my total career. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't necessarily known for putting it yeah, back yeah, in yeah. the net. Right, right, so. Amstutz crossing it over far side. So for 28 minutes remaining in this matchup at Van Andel in Holland, Michigan. Oh. Oh, race for the ball there, but recovered. Nice header right back to Olsen. Dutch still showing some energy. There's Herkovic. Mario with a good cross there. Here's Bush. Oh, Bush with a nice move. And he's a confident player. He is. He's I, a confident player. I don't think that was a cross. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that was a shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice move. Uh, he skated past one defender, and the Heidelberg <laughs> defender came flying in and blocked the shot. That was a good defensive play. Uh -huh. What I really like about Mario, uh, previously he, he switched the ball over from the right all the way over to the left. He, he's always looking for the, the second layer. So he's not necessarily looking for the first pass right in front of him. He's looking for the deeper pass that can go into the more dangerous area. I, I love that by him. Looking for Mario on that play, but a little bit too far, and we're going to see a goal kick. I believe Thomas Abraham is still in net. Yes, he is. And we're seeing Andre... Navas enter the game for Heidelberg as Zane Paul will come out and get some rest. And that ball is absolutely skied up in the air. We saw their Kai Jurgle back in the game. Here's Mario. Kai's playing a little bit different of a position. He's playing the six, so he's playing in the middle. He's been playing out on the, the wing um, in the last several games, so we'll see how he does in the middle. Draw there for the Dutch, Dutch but uh, Bush. And Olsen able to get it back, but it looks like it's just going to go out of bounds. And sub Kai Francisco will return for the Dutch as Cole Pauly gets his first break of the day. I wouldn't be shocked if Cole Pauly uh, does not enter back into this game. Um, he's played some great defense and put in a good shift. Um, I don't think Coach Blanick will want to risk uh, an injury to him. Here is Keegan de Kuyper. Sophomore from Norton Shores. Jurgle. I'm going to see another nice fancy pass there from Alcala. The heel pass. Apparently it's the Hope Special. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's doing it today. Out to the Lion. Here's... Griffin Brown, who has played the entirety of the match. Griffin Brown has a lot of composure on the ball. Um, if he receives the ball and he's looking one direction, if nothing's going, he, he's perfectly fine just bringing it back and either playing it back to the back line or switching fields. And um, that does wonders for Hope and in, in possession. Hope has done really well in terms of possession today. Here's Brown. Yeah, really nice composure with three players all yeah, around great him. Great ball. I mean, not a lot of players can have the the wits about them and know where the space is and be able to play the ball like that. I mean, uh, that's fantastic. And 
Brown with a really nice ball. Here is Mario. He's got some options here, but uh, he just, Dillstad was able to catch up to him. Uh, kind of held on to that a little bit too long. Yeah, I think part of his problem there was uh, he's, he's pretty much left-footed. Yeah. And he's trying to bring that with his left foot and uh, he got a little bit caught. A very nicely placed pass from Griffin Brown on that play. We're going to see a corner. Looks like they're going to, are they going to play it short? Because I think Ben Bush is still in the game. Oh, no, he got stopped. <laughs> I was like, they're I don't all, know. They're all confused. <laughs> I thought they were going to play it short there. I was like, oh, my gosh, there's nobody out yeah. there. <laughs> Here's Kai Jurgle. Lion. Brown. He's going to send it back out. Ah. That one just uh, doesn't hit anyone's foot. Yeah, one of his few errant passes of the game. Um, you could see what he was trying to do. He just missed it a bit. So we will see whether or not Hope College matches Isaac Brock's career goal total today. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be, that's a big question. Um, yeah, I think it might be tough to do. <laughs> Eight goals. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we'll see. It might not get to the 15 assists. We'll say <laughs> you know, that. You we'll know, say that. We'll yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, I'll, I'll be thrilled. I'll be thrilled if Trevor Durfee gets the eighth. You did final. call a Trevor Durfee goal. <laughs> I so. did call a Trevor Durfee goal. And I, I still think it could happen. About 22 minutes remaining. It's 434 here in Holland. The temperature has actually increased since we started the game. It's about 61 degrees. Here's Griffin Brown being defended by Simon Joseph. Uh, Hope oh. with another opportunity here. Try to get fancy with the pass. That was DeVries. Who, oh, nice play there. Olsen. DeVries, if he were to score again, would be have a hat trick for the day, which obviously is a very impressive feat. That actually might be a good stats. Hello, I don't know the last welcome time to Hope College. Gotten We're so excited to I take you no along idea. with us. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be yeah that would be quite the accomplishment. Lions gonna pass it down. He's got Alcala there. No room here for the Dutch. Oh, yeah. Griffin Duran tried cutting in there and got stolen from him. It was a good idea. Heidelberg. Looking for Joseph. Good ball. Yeah. Elstad was streaking right down the center, but good pressure from the Dutch. Charit tries to cross, and it's going to stay in. Kai Jurgle able to push it out. Joseph's been all over the field. I mean, he's doing a good job today. Um, good run up the line. Didn't quite work out for him, but, I mean, he's played well. Absolutely. Forward from Lincoln, Nebraska. There's Olsen. Joseph. Joseph and Ilstad have been trying to connect throughout this game. Here is DeVries. Mario. Mario with oh. that left. Oh, what a beautiful ball and a great look for Alcala. Oh. oh, man. What a great ball. That might have been the best ball of today. I mean, that was from half field right to the top of the box. Paulo makes a great first touch. And instead of sliding it past the keeper, he tried sliding past. I don't know if he saw the defender there. I don't, I don't think he did. I think that was Trent Green who had the hustles uh, flying across the field to stop that play. So nicely done by Mr. Trent Green. Yeah. Here is the corner. 
Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think that might have been for the hat trick there. That, that, that would have been awesome. A deflection goal. <laughs> Well, as we saw in the first half, you'll take a goal any way you can get it. Exactly. Hope with the corner. Okay, and we're going to see two subs. We're going to see Griffin Brown and Mario Herkovic exiting the game. Great game for both of those guys. Yeah, we get to see some of Matthew um, Marinkovic or Marinsky. Marinsky. Our uh, yes. A defender My apologies from if I Milford, that Michigan. I haven't seen him play yet this season, so I'm excited. It doesn't look like he's playing defense. He's actually in the midfield, so. Blonick moving the crew around a little bit with a 6-0 lead here. 17 minutes-ish remaining. DeVries still in the game, and he's got bodies all around him. No call there. If we can get a corner. I would imagine Matthew's probably, probably pretty dangerous on the corners. He seems like a very tall individual. Yeah, Marinsky, freshman from Milford. Heidelberg throwing. Booted there towards Bush. Hits him in the heels. Yeah. He wasn't looking at the huh. ball. <laughs> yeah. We'll see a throw in here for Bush. Colton Baker. Colton's been very solid today. Um, hasn't had a whole lot to do defensively, but offensively he's picked out the correct pass and um, he's broken some lines. So it's, it's had, I would say he's had a good game. Here is Colton Baker. And I would imagine Hope College uh, will be looking for the shutout today um, if they if they can't get a shutout, they're going to be quite disappointed. Yeah, absolutely. Great tackle by Whoa. Matthew. He started that attack. Here's DeVries. DeVries with two goals. He's got a look here, and he wants to take it himself. Oh. He had an opportunity to pass <laughs> that. I think he wanted that after. He did. I, I can't blame <laughs> him, but there were some open players. <laughs> yeah, he definitely wanted the hat trick there. Good defense by Colton. Got right in front of Joseph and uh, was able to pass it back. Here's Baker. You know, if you look at Hope and uh, the performance so far this season, obviously they gave up three in the game to UChicago. A very, very impressive program. Outside of that, they've only given up five goals in the other six games. Yeah, defensively, they have been very, very, very organized. Um, every game you can tell uh, they're a very good group and uh, they're, they're just struggling offensively. And today may be the day that they uh, kickstart uh, their season in the, the goal the goal totals. So, Well, unless a miraculous comeback comes in these last 14 minutes, uh, David Blonick will get his second victory and we see a nice pass out there it goes just past Duran. The timing of that pass was great. I mean, they, he passed it right when Griffin was on the back line of uh, Heidelberg, and uh, he was in for a good cross and couldn't, couldn't quite get into the box. He got a little tangled up. Here's Alcala. Mm. 
Oh, good look here. DeVries is going to pass it out. Here's Alcala. Almost had a fancy move to himself, and he steals it. Oh, he thought about shooting it. He's going to pull now. <laughs> That was a and spin yeah. move to a spin move. <laughs> you might have been a little dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've seen that before. A lot of fancy playing here. Well, we were wondering about the hat trick question, and Alan ba Babbitt has delivered answers. Three Hope players have ever had a hat trick at Van Andel. DeVries would be the fourth. Yeah. Allen always coming in clutch with the statistics. I that might be a that's a select company. I mean, that's not very many, not very many players. That's, that's, that's awesome. You might know some of these guys. I do. How about um, that? Looks like we have uh, Logan Bilesma in 2018. Logan was a forward for the team that I played on, and Logan was a fantastic forward. Um, he'd like to get on the end of goals. Um, then we have Jason Muller. He was actually at the alumni game today. And then Sean Groot oh, Grootsema um, in 2010. Awesome. Yeah. Great to talk about the alumni. You got to play with them today. They're getting celebrated for their hat tricks. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. good to be washed up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, we'll see if DeVries joins that select company. 12 minutes left. Ball goes out of play. Alcala. In the game is Trevor Durfee. I believe I see him. I see him as well up the left side. I'm going to keep my eye on him. He's got 10 minutes to work some magic. <laughs> If Trevor scores, I better you better be freaking out. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you, you can count on that. <laughs> oh, sliding play there. Matt has come in and really played well. Um, Heidelberg player appears to be injured. Um, don't love to see that, but yep. it was a good tackle by Matt. It's Braylon Houston, sophomore from Ohio, played at Allen East. And it looks like he's getting up. Uh, he's walking a little ginger gingerly. Um, looks like he will stay in the game. Joseph snuck up behind Matthew there and stole the ball. Oh, oh gave it right back to Griff Duran. Griff Duran. And here is a look. Almost. Or not. Oh. Pushed out. DeVries streaking, and you can just tell looking at him play, he wants that third goal. Uh, he does. He, he does. Him? We got two people up top. We got Thomas and we got Trevor Durfee. Yep. Both individuals we want to score. So <laughs> it's going to get more, any more exciting. Oh, man. <laughs> we are dialed in with 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Another play in the box here. What's going on? Oh. People uh, look like DeVries just. Give it a good old swing of the leg. I did. Oh, wow. And Bush had some room there. But he did. I thought he was going to sneak back post and tap that in. It looks like Simon Joseph is leaving the game. I'd like to salute him again on his performance. He's played a very hard-fought game offensively and defensively. He does. He deserves a round of applause. I mean, he, he has been the energy of the Heidelberg team. Um, he's put in a, a great shift. Here's DeVries. Ah, is that Durfee? No, it's not. Excuse me. <laughs> he was in the box, though. He was in the box. <laughs> Just under 10 minutes remaining. Corner here, I believe Alcala will be kicking. Like I was saying, Matthew's got some height on him. I, I'm interested to see if he's going to attack this ball here. Number 20 is Matthew, and that's a look that goes just over the net from Duran. Good challenge by Duran. He tried snapping, snapping the neck there, and uh, he mistimed it a bit and just popped it over the net.
goal kick there. There's Houston. Oh, and no. Looks like uh, Eelstad suffered some sort of injury after attempting to pass that ball. Number 40 from Norway. He's also been out there the entire game, so um, put in a lot of work as well. Him and Joseph have playing off of each other uh, the entirety of this game. I don't know if you saw that, but he caught the uh, player threw a penny to him, and he caught that no look. <laughs> it was pretty impressive. That is him while he's hurting too. Hey. Yeah, I mean, I, I, props to him. I, I would not have caught that. I think we need some pennies off as we got two new players joining the game for Hope. Russell Ebert and Luke Brady, two freshmen. Brady from Hillsdale, Ebert from St. Joseph. And we will see uh, Lyon exiting the game, as well as Ben Bush. So a couple more fresh faces getting to see some quality game time. And there's Trevor Durfee trying to play on the ball. Hot on his tail. Here's Devin Smith. And that is going to go out. Colton Baker. Here's Marinsky looking towards the middle. Nothing doing there, but a nice play on a 50-50 ball, but that's going to be cool. Oh. You don't love that call? And, yeah, I was shocked. That, that, that was a, yeah, that was a shock to oh, I, I thought it was a fair challenge by Matthew. Um, the ref did not agree with me. He thought he went over the back. <laughs> Here are the, the orange and black of Heidelberg. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Haven't had a... Shot on the goal in a little bit here. Um, hopefully in the next seven minutes we can get another another chance. Mm. Good play by Kai Francisco there. Played it up to Thomas DeVries, but he got uh, clipped at the end, so rough call the foul. There's hope. We have not seen a goal scorer in quite some time. I'm getting used to this whole goal scoring thing. Yeah, it's I mean, dangerous. It's, yeah, it's we're getting dangerous. too used to it. <laughs> no, it's very dangerous. <laughs> Sometimes when it rains, it pours. It's been the case today for the Dutch squad. Matt, do you happen to know who Hope College plays next? Yes, in fact, I can get that information for you. Hope's next game will be at Washington in St. Louis, Missouri. Washington was a great team last year. I'm not sure how good they're doing this year, but um, they're usually a very, very tough team. and they're, they're ranked quite high last year. Entering the game, we got Jack Hollebeek, another freshman from Calvin Christian. Let's go, Jack. Let's go. Jack got lucky number 13. Yes, he did. Here is De Kuyper. So Wash U is two and two. Their last game was against Illinois Wesleyan. They won 2-0. Okay. Illinois Wesleyan usually has a good team as well, so that'll be a tough match for Hope. Uh, 
Luke Brady trying to make something happen on it, but nothing doing there. Devin Smith with it. That's going to go off of Trevor Durfee. Oh, Durfee with a little play. Let's see what he's got. Here's Marinsky. Back to Alcala with a nice pass. Great pass by Paulo. Nice movement here. Could have went back to him. It's a great run of play from Hove. A lot of one, two touch passing here. Another one of those fancy heel passes the Dutch have come to love. <laughs> they have loved that pass today. Um, other games, not sure <laughs> if it'll work out quite as well. <laughs> Oh, Grifter ran with a mm. good-looking ball and just gets intercepted by Huddleberg. Brady gets a foot on it, and uh, we'll see a throw-in from Heidelberg. Smith is a freshman from Columbus, Ohio. He's been in a couple good minutes. Nice header from Marinsky. Here's Alcala. Oh, and he was looking... He was looking to go after that pass. He was. He was looking for the give go, and uh, the ball got inter intercepted by the Heidelberg defender. It was a good defensive play. Nice play again by Alcala. Maintains possession. Here's Alcala. Looking for Marinsky. There's a lot of Heidelberg players there. And that is going to go into the forest, the Van Andel. Yep, hit mid-tree there. Yep. Matthew has really impressed me. He, he's playing very aggressively, and he's won a lot of headers and switched the play of attack quite nicely. He may also be impressing Coach Blonick this play out there. He today. may be. I mean, with the minutes he's given today, uh, it'd be tough to, for Coach Blonick not to at least give him a look in the future games. And there's a potential look for the touch. Oh, man. Just goes out and looks like that might be a goal kick. Almost squeaked that past the goalie and in the net. One minute left. Once again, thank you everybody for joining us. Score is 6 0 oh, for the Flying Dutch. My prediction's running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Huh. <laughs> I guess it's not over till it's over. <laughs> Kai Francisco back in. With some nice run in there. Here's the Kuiper. One minute remaining in the second half. Ooh, nice chest. Here's Alcala. Great move and pass. Oh. Now, good look again for the Dutch. Uh, great play by Paulo. Paulo with a fancy move and then a nice through ball. Trent Green, not the former quarterback, but the Heidelberg player with a nice play there. <laughs> And we've got about 25 seconds remaining. After this game, we will see Heidelberg. Oh, we see the throw in here and a look at the goal. Oh! And how about that? We will get to seven. <laughs> Heck yeah. Awesome goal right off the throw. How about that? Nicely done by the Dutchman and they're gonna get to seven. I believe that was Griff Dor Doran. 
Number 22, Griffin Doran. You're absolutely right. Griffin Doran. He came flying in there. That was a great finish. Very impressive goal. And that is the icing on the cake, to say the least. The seventh goal of the game. They're going to win it 7-0 unless something happens in the last 18 seconds. Got to feel great going into the locker room after that. Ten, after this game, eight, Heidelberg seven, will be traveling six, to play five, at Albion. Four, Hope will play against three, Wash U. Two, and that, one. ladies and gentlemen, his game. Trevor Durfee did not score, <laughs> but we got seven other goals for the Flying Dutchman. Fantastic play by the Dutchman today. It was a very exciting game. Got to see tons and tons of goals. Um, Matt, it was a pleasure announcing with you. Yeah, this is a great time. We just, for those of you who can't see, we just had a great handshake moment out in the booth here. Um, I got to get a, for the, all the goals we had today, we had Ethan Jansen, Nick Kubert, two from Thomas DeVries, one from South Walters, one from Kai Francis. Francisco, and uh, you saw that last goal as well from Griffin Duran. The score is 7-0. Uh, Isaac Brock, class of 2020, former midfielder. Thanks so much for hopping on the broadcast today. And as always, roll Dutch, and uh, unless you got anything else. Roll Dutch. Uh, looking forward to the remaining, ga remaining games in the season. Uh, I think this is something that the Hope Flying Dutchman can build upon and uh, hopefully keep putting the ball in the back of the net. Absolutely. Well, you'll never be mad at seven goals in one game. <laughs> you can't be mad about that. <laughs> that is all for Matt Roblin and Isaac Brock. Have a great afternoon. Great evening.